Okay, so let's talk about organization. So with the iPad, you have a lot of apps and the apps are really good at keeping previously made documents. The challenge with that is, let's say you make a document in September or you make something on Notability, you make a video, you make whatever. And then let's say you need to access that in March. The teacher says you need to do a reflection assignment. I want you to look back at your old documents. If you name every document something generic, so if you name it, for instance, um, just untitled, as it's shown here, the problem is it's going to be really difficult to find that when it's that old. The way to fix that then is to do two things. Number one is to name that document something specific. So name it something specific to the class. For instance, it could be something like journalism, and then you might write um, reflection. Uh, maybe this was in September. And then I would always, and this seems really redundant, but it'll actually help a lot when you upload it to the teacher. You might actually also write your last name on it. And that way they can have it organized. Okay, then you can create that document. And from here, you have a couple options. Number one, it's obviously saved in your past documents. So if I go back, it says last opened by me, I have this journalism reflection document, which is really nice. Um, I can look at it differently and see, oh, okay, there it is. But what I can also do is make sure it's in a folder that I want it to be in. So to set up those folders, what I need to do is go to Google Docs, excuse me, Google Drive. And from Google Drive, I need to set up folders. Now, I've been doing a lot for a long time, so I have a ton of folders. And you can see here I have things from academic council materials to department chair stuff to do-it-yourself information, final grades, journalism, photography. And so all of those things are kind of the high-level folders. So what I want to think about if I'm a student is as soon as I start a class, I want to create a folder for that class. So at the bottom right, I'm going to tap plus, and I'm going to say folder, and I'm going to call it whatever my class is. So for me, for instance, I'm going to call it AP language. If I can type, wow. Um, and I'm going to call it AP language 2020 because that's the year I'm taking it. I'm going to say create. And now I have an AP language 2020 folder. Within that AP Language 2020 folder, I can do things like create subfolders. And I could call that, for instance, something like Reflections Create. And then I can create another one, and I can create that and call it Notes Create. And you want to be as specific as possible. So you might create folders that are called something like Unit 1 Rhetoric Create. Now I have all of these subfolders within my AP language folder. And where that's nice is I can create further subfolders if I want, for instance, within rhetoric or within notes. But that document that I made, so I can go back to that file I already made, this journalism reflection September. And all I have to do is from this front screen that's showing me just all of those old documents I've created, all I have to do is go to these three dots and then say right down here about a little over halfway down, I have to click on move. And in move, it suddenly brings up Google Drive. And instead of just dropping it at the end where I have all these kind of like sad lost files, I can instead say, okay, I want to put this one in AP Language 2020, the folder I just made. And I want to make sure it's in reflections. And then I say move here. And now it tells me that that... Uh, document has been moved to that folder. The more you get into that practice, the more organized you're going to end up being, and I can confirm it here, the more organized you're going to end up being and the better you're going to be able to find the different documents, the different files you made, all that kind of stuff. The really cool thing then too is I can also hit those three dots here and I can share any of these folders. So for instance, the academic council that I'm in for all the department chairs, we have all these shared folders. So as a group, we can come together and create a document together, or we can add files for each other. We can do collaborative things of that nature.
And that's something that's really gonna help you out throughout the year, especially if you have something where you need a picture from a friend or you need a file from a friend and you want to put that into a shared folder. I can also change that. I can say I want to unshare. So it's just, again, link sharing can be turned off. Um, so you can adjust those as you will.